Right, a viewer shared this video with us asking to remain anonymous and we are blurring and pausing parts of it because it is so graphic. A warning, some may find it disturbing. A police chase ending in a violent crash, then gunfire Tuesday afternoon. Milwaukee's police chief Jeffrey Norman says officers pulled over a car with no license plates at 60th and Thurston, but the driver took off. Officers gave chase, then the chief says the driver ran a red light at 91st and Silver Spring, crashing into another car and taking off on foot. The suspect possessed a handgun and continued to flee with a gun in his hand. Officer gave the suspect several commands to drop the gun, and the officer discharged his firearm striking the suspect. MPD's response captured next by a viewer on their cell phone. The man lying face down unresponsive to police. 12 News is pausing the video before it shows officers dragging the man by one leg, at one point lifting him into the air by his hands and back of his pants, eventually setting him down on the ground. In a statement, MPD says it's aware of videos circulating on social media platforms and is conducting a full administrative investigation of this incident. MPD holds its members to the highest level of integrity, and if it is determined that any member has violated the code of conduct, they will be held accountable. Earlier, Chief Norman told reporters officers did recover a handgun. Did the suspect point the gun at the officers who were chasing him at any point? At this time is unknown. I know that uh, at the time that the uh, officer engaged, there was a firearm, but at what point and where, how, that's still you know part of the investigation. The chief says the dead man is 31 years old. The officer who fired his weapon is 43 years old with five years on the force. No officers were hurt, and the chief says the woman the driver struck refused medical treatment on the scene.